Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows tracing of a ureteric stone. You can see the left kidney and it shows moderate to severe hydronephrosis with mild to moderate hydroureter. Now the once the stone gets caught in the urine, it may partially or completely block the flow of urine. The blockage causes pain that is usually felt in the middle of the back or side and may radiate towards the groin. If a stone that is blocking urine flow is left untreated, it can cause damage to the kidney or ureter. Now you can see the left kidney and you can see the ureter. The ureter, left ureter. Now when you start focusing and tracing the ureter, if you have any doubt whether it is a blood vessel or a ureter, you can use the Doppler flow to differentiate between the blood vessel and the ureter. This is left kidney. This is ureter. Now as you know that larger is the stone, the greater is the intensity of the hydroureter and if a stone lies nearer to the kidney, the extent of the intensity of the hydroureter is more. Now you can see the tracing and you can differentiate it by color doppler that whether it is a ureter or blood vessel you can see it is left ureter left untreated kidney stones may block the ureter or make them narrower this increases the risk of infection and urine may build up and put added strain on the kidneys now you can see the ureter is crossing the iliac vessels this and this is junction of the upper and middle one third of the left ureter, junction of the proximal and middle portion. Approximately 60% of kidney stones that are 4 to 6 millimeter will pass on their own in about 45 days. Around 20% of kidney stones that are larger than 6 millimeter will pass on their own in about 12 months however when stones are this large it is best to seek immediate surgical removal now this is the left ureter and you can see it is crossing the iliac vessels a ureteral obstruction is is a block blockage in one or both of the tubes ureters that carry urine from the kidney to the bladder. Ureteral obstruction can be curable. However, if it is not treated, symptoms can quickly move from mild to mild that are pain, fever and infection to severe symptoms that is loss of kidney function, sepsis and loss of kidney functions. Now you can see the middle one third of the ureter and you can see a stone stone shadowing once you focus the ureter as it arises from the kidney downwards you can use the art of probe handling probe handling and you should never let the ureter ureter out of sight you can keep it in focus by moving the sweeping the probe or moving the probe and pressing the probe larger stones especially those fill the kidney are stones that remain untreated after a long time can cause permanent damage to the kidney and may lead to kidney loss 
this damage often occurs without any symptoms which is why that is why it is important to see a urologist if you have a stone again you can see the stone lying in the junction of the at the junction of the middle and the distal portion of the ureter now there is relationship of sexual intercourse with ureter ureteral stone in the distal one third of the ureter sexual intercourse may clear distal ureter stones having sex 3 to 4 times a week was associated with a significantly greater stone passage rate than tamsulin or standard medical therapy sexual intercourse may be effective way to clear distal ureteral stones researchers have concluded you can find now you can see the stone and the ureter the stone is seen at the junction of the middle one third with the distal one third the stone measures about 9 mm thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks